Have you ever wondered why almost no one is afraid of a huge Labrador or a Ste. Bernard, even if they meet on a narrow path, but people freeze in fear of a small pit bull, afraid to move. It's all about stereotypes, which often have nothing in common with reality. For example, a formidable pit bull can have impeccable upbringing and turn into the sweetest creature, and a Labrador, left to its own devices, can turn into a hysterical dog barking at passers-by. Today we'll look at the dog breeds with the strongest stereotypes about themselves. Pitbull. Perhaps the most controversial breed, everyone is used to hearing that you can expect anything from pit bulls, that they are an aggressive breed, cannot be trained, and are uncontrollable. It is worth understanding that this is a really serious breed that requires proper education, but in fairness it is worth noting that modern pit bulls are no longer as formidable as their fighting ancestors. Over many generations of living in homes with people, the character of pit bulls changed, the most aggressive dogs were eliminated from generation to generation, and today the pit bull is radically different from its distant ancestors. There is more convincing evidence for this. The American Canine Society of Breed Temperament Testing tested 870 pit bulls and 87% passed the test, 13% failed the test and the dog's owners were to blame. Aggressive behavior is an indicator that the dog may be being bullied by its owners or not being given due attention. Pit bulls are very capable, intelligent and not at all uncontrollable, as many people believe. Training requires a lot of attention. Classes require perseverance and patience. Pete's want and love to learn. Originally bred to participate in blood sports, today the American Pit Bull Terrier is used in police service and specializes in detecting drugs and explosives. Because of irresponsible breeders. Note. The American Pit Bull Terrier is more often than other breeds included in the list of potentially dangerous breeds in different countries of the world. For example, keeping pit bulls is prohibited in the UAE. The Rottweiler is another breed with a bad reputation. It is not uncommon to hear that these dogs are aggressive, angry, dangerous, and generally killer dogs. Some people think that this is a bloodthirsty dog and is ready to attack any person for no reason. This is an outright lie. According to the inspection and testing of 6,000 dogs of this breed, who completed an initial training course and understood how to behave in human society, 85% did not show any aggression towards strangers unless provoked. The remaining 15%, again through the fault of the owners, saw strangers as a threat, since they were trained to protect private territory and protect property. Such dogs show aggression towards any trespasser of the territory they protect. But Rottweilers cannot be blamed for this they are a service breed and they know how to perfectly perform their security functions. A properly raised Rottweiler is an excellent family guard dog, loyal and courageous, with a special love for children. Yes, representatives of the breed have incredible stopping power, but it can and should be controlled. American Staffordshire Terrier Many stereotypes have been invented about this breed, as well as about the pit bull this is probably due to the external similarity of the breeds, which is why some even confuse these dogs. Staffords are credited with being angry, stubborn, and difficult to learn. According to the same testing that was carried out with pit bulls, 90% of Amstaffs passed the test. Staff is a really smart dog. If you find the right approach to a dog, it will become an excellent performer. They love to learn dog manners this activity brings them a lot of positive emotions. They love praise, and motivation is also important to them. Contact with the owner is what the staff needs. They may seem stubborn at first, but they are not. The Staffordshire Terrier will not obey a weak person. There must be an undoubted leader next to him. At home and on a walk, they are completely different. When surrounded by loved ones, the dog becomes very gentle and affectionate. 
There is one thing they simply love to do, sleep on the bed next to their owner. American staffs are not aggressive at all, and if they attack, it will only be at the command of the owner or if there is a good reason. They are so devoted to their owner that they are ready to give their life if he is in any danger. And the most important thing in education and training is early socialization, so that AM staffs do not look for dangers and threats to the owner where there are none. A properly trained dog should react absolutely calmly to people around him, and not show any signs of aggression towards strangers, not react to passing cyclists or random handshakes and friendly pats of the owner on the shoulder by other people. The Doberman is another breed that has become hostage to stereotypes due to its appearance. Many people think that the dog looks ominous and is aggressive towards strangers. The thing is that Dobermans are more often used as guard dogs than other dogs. This is what contributes to the spread of the myth that representatives of the breed are vicious and aggressive. Although the Doberman Pinscher has a reputation for being a harsh and even sinister dog, it is actually a loving and loyal companion. This is not an exaggeration, a true Doberman is a stable, friendly dog, unless a stranger poses a threat to his family. Any dog, no matter how cute, can develop unwanted behavior, especially if left to its own devices. Experts recommend getting a Doberman only to people who are willing to spend time on the dog, including training with a dog handler. The boxer of this breed has a formidable name and appearance, but this is not at all a reason to be afraid of this breed. Stereotypes that you can hear about this breed are unbalanced, angry, cruel, unteachable, but all of them quickly dissipate, it's enough to get to know a dog that falls into the right hands. Naturally, dogs, like people, have different characters and temperaments. Some are good and some are bad, it has always been that way. However, most of a dog's behavior depends on upbringing and training. Boxers themselves are balanced dogs. With decent upbringing, they will be calm at home and playful on the street. They will never start a fight first and will never disobey their owner. But they remember their offenders well. This is an active breed that loves children and is an excellent nanny for them. Being a defender is a boxer's calling. Insanely devoted to their owner and their entire human family. They tolerate it if children do something unpleasant. During training, teams catch on the fly. Thanks to their mental abilities, they can work in the police and be useful. Bull Terrier what is most often said about this breed is dangerous, increased aggression, incredible jaw-clenching force. And only the owners and people who have had the opportunity to meet this breed assure that these are the sweetest creatures. Most likely, such unkind stereotypes have developed because of the dog's appearance. She looks strong and threatening, but not everything is as terrible as it seems. The force of jaw compression depends on the size of the head, so the winners in this competition are Rottweilers, and in second place are pit bulls. The bull terrier bites with about the same force as most other breeds of the same size, such as terriers. Yes, the breed was originally bred as a fighting breed, but later people began to keep bull terriers as pets, and therefore some changes occurred in breeding activities. Bull terriers can be independent and stubborn and for this reason are considered unsuitable dogs for an inexperienced owner. Despite the above, Representatives of the breed have a balanced temperament and are easy to train. Friends, write your comments about what you think about these breeds, do you think they are scary or are you also sure that everything depends on the dog's owner? Also write what breed you have and what dogs you would like to see a new issue about. Well, that's all for today, thank you all for watching. If it was interesting, support the video with likes, thank you for subscribing, and take a look at what else we have prepared for you.